it is in America. Silencio, por favor, Castilla, mi amor. I asked them about the Sandman to the history of short story. The next thing I knew, they are quarreling whether the new or America contributed to its birth. Looks like we need a history lesson here. You three, let's go. Tagalog short story, like its English counterpart, is a concrete manifestation of the deep and convincing American and European influence in Philippine writing. So, it is both American and European. Aren't you curious why is that so? The short story in Tagalog, as it is known today, came to be written only after the first decade of the American rule, when books and literature containing short fiction were read and assimilated by the Filipinos. Finally, local publications, notably the Philippine Free Press, the Independent, the Citizen Magazine, and the La Vanguardia or Sabatino issue, frequently reprinted distinctive stories and tales not only by American but also European authors. With this rich literary and cultural heritage as background, the Tagalog short story came to be written. The Carlos Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature is the only philanthropic organization that is encouraging the growth of letters, including the short story in Tagalog. Genevieve Idrosa Matute won the Palanca Award five times for her tender and warm stories written in fluid and yet precise language. An educator, Mrs. Matute has written an anthology of stories and essays entitled Akoy Isang Tining and numerous textbooks in Tagalog grammar. Some of her prize-winning stories are Kwento ni Mabuti, Paglalatag sa Puso ni Isang Bata, Parusa, and Pagpabalik. And one of the famous short story in Tagalog is entitled All Over the World. One evening in August 1941, I came out of a late movie to a silent cold night. I shivered a little as I stood for a moment in the narrow street looking up at the distant sky, alive with stars. I stood there, letting the night wind sweep through me and listen. The street was empty, the house on the street dim with a kind of ghostly dimness that seems to embrace sleeping houses. I had always liked empty streets in the night. I had always stopped for a while in the streets, listening for something I did not quite know what. Perhaps for low, soft cries that empty streets and sleeping houses seem to share in the night. Janus documentary is now signing off.